I know you see a lot of Stingray vehicles here, but this one's a little different. This is KC 250's Stingray. With the Demon engine conversion, it looks stock, which is a great sleeper car, but apparently he's sick of that look now. So finally we have the rest of his parts in, so we are going to gut everything else we haven't done yet. So we're gonna get rid of those factory axles. We're gonna get rid of the suspension, these horrible shocks and a whole bunch of other stuff so that it looks the part of what he's trying to accomplish here with all this power. And drives better too. And hopefully drives better. The older the older cougars, sorry. The older, oh, yeah. thanks, perfect. Or, or, the, or the girls with daddy issues. Girls with daddy issues, <laughs> yeah, the gray hair, they have to make sure, yeah, 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 thanks. Yeah. All right, man, what are we doing? Uh, so we're uh, pulling out the rear end uh, out of the Casey's truck here, and uh, we're gonna put a Dana 80 in the rear and a Dana 60 in the front. Excellent. Um, I'm currently just prepping it, getting all the bolts loose, getting it all ready so I can get it down onto the jack stands, and then we'll pop it all out, and then the rear end will be out in no time. Suspension is a metal cloak? Yeah, we're doing a metal cloak okay. setup on, in this one. Um, okay. I've never installed one of these, so it'd be interesting for myself. Cool. Um, I guess there's a little bit of welding to do up front uh, for the brackets and things uh, for the lower arms. But uh, other than that, I think the rear, we just set it to what it, the factory arms or lengths are. And then uh, that pretty much is a straight swap in out. Um, yeah, and then we'll get, the, we'll get this all down in no time. Yeah. Is this like a prosthetic leg? That looks like a prosthetic leg. Mike, we're cutting off your leg. That's okay. I already tried that once before. Oh. I already got metal in there. We're all good. Oh. But it has a spring. Well, does that make you bouncy? You might work faster. Oh, I might work faster. Or can I just undo it and twist my foot around a couple yeah, times? Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. yeah. More stable, More depending stable. on what you're doing. Fancy. This is clearly Casey's Saturday night. He's Saturday night. Okay. I'm taken from my house. <laughs> Jeez, here, catch. <laughs> <laughs> Casey likes them thick. <laughs> well, if he doesn't, it's not our problem. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, crazy. Just like that. Dane, Dane, just like that. Drop it on the ground. Not to mess around, just put it in and be done. Move on. Next. Okay, we're done. Much. Oh, these are heavy beating. So 
we've got the metal cloak uh, suspension. Um, this is the recommend, or this is what they they provide us to put in the put into the truck as their bracket for their lower control arms. What's up guys, Sean here from the story till now. If you don't know about the Epic online store, the new one, epic-4wd.com, they have all the stuff you need like Terraflex, Metal Cloak, 67 Designs mounts, all the stuff that we use, everything that you need is at that store. Go check it out and if you use the link in the description, it helps support my channel. Which I appreciate, thanks guys. <laughs> the the yeah. goes in the top. upside down? Yeah. Well, this is your first day? I just did the back one, so I'm all fucked up. Oh. You may look over here and see a little bit of stuff that's different than what we normally do in our builds up here. But for Casey's Jeep, uh, we're doing another little thing. We're working together with Metal Cloak on this build, and we're gonna try some new things. So I'm like, why don't you send me up the new lock and load system? Because I haven't seen it or installed it in person yet. And so what it is, we basically have a long arm radius arm with the other piece going up. And which would be great on its own, we have the ability when we get to the trail with a fancy wrench, oh, here we go with a fancy wrench, we get to spin this and unlock it. This allows the spring mechanism inside for this to collapse and extend a certain amount so that when the axle pivots, it won't bind up. The allowance of this arm will allow it to un not bind when it's going through its flexible motion. And we'll get to see how that works. We'll use the forklift to flex it out and try it. And I think Casey plans to go down to Easter Jeep Safari with this and put it up on the metal cloak flex trailers. So it's a neat system. I'm curious to see how it drives on road, especially with all this torque. And, uh, but this vehicle should drive much better now that it's getting the big beefy axles, the better brakes, and it'll be a lot more planted on the ground. Um, so hopefully we'll get to drive tomorrow. That's why we got the 40s. We needed the extra sidewall for the Starbucks drive throughs So then you have to tighten the jam, huh? Yeah. And now it's locked. You can reef it off. Yes. So we can never do it again. Mm. Reef it on enough that even a, even a <laughs> tough guy like him can undo it. Oh, thanks. Uh, I appreciate your confidence in me. Looking for an epic Jeep? Give us a call. <laughs> 